Havoc explosion. Thank you. Alright, life is good, except for this is probably the, uh, this is probably, yeah, this is the path up. Let's leave this for a moment. It's probably the, yep. Other small detail that would be nice. I wish the chucking ax, uh, the guy that chucks his axe, I wish he wouldn't have an axe in his hand. Whoops. Ah! I wish you wouldn't have an axe in his hand while you, while you're waiting for uh, for it to come back. Oh yeah, that would be great actually. Alternative idea to my idea from last episode with the uh, blocking the axe so he drops it, you can use it as a blueprint. Uh, it'd also be just really funny if you could um, block the axe, drop, uh, make him drop it, and um, and he'd have to like bumble over and get it. That'd be really satisfying. I think they improved the music here. Okay, yeah, going going for secrets, absolutely worthwhile. I feel like they might have actually in increased the spawn point of stats. Ow. Oh, that's okay. We're doing fine. Whew. More skill points. We're we up to skill eight. More health points. It is a good run. I mean, part of it is, I really want to do a, a, a double knife storm run against the Watcher. Eh. Killed him too fast. Ow. Like, a double... A double knife storm run against the Watcher would probably, like, wreck him. Maybe. It'd be a lot of bleed. I do have tons of stats. It's nice. Gotta keep an eye out for the secrets. Because that's how I've been getting them. Ah, I am bushed. That's okay. I did not get a whole lot of sleep last night. I've spent pretty much the whole day just uh, trying to get the Dungeons and Dragons campaign up onto iTunes. So people can listen to it there, because sometimes I wonder if, like, YouTube, uh, whoops. Sometimes I wonder if, like, YouTube is the, uh, premier place to watch that sort of thing. Okay, uh, do we go health? Yeah, let's go health. There. Now, no matter what, we have enough health to fight the second boss. 500 is probably too low. 1,000 was, uh, a nice bit of overkill. But if we can get more skill points after this... Then that'd be great. Well, that was annoying. I kind of wish doors wouldn't have enemies immediately next to them. Just because. I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal, but still. Oh, we're doing we're doing boosted. Oh, right, we do boosted damage against uh, bleeding enemies with this build. I forgot about that bit. Surprise! Uh, that was really satisfying. Oh. Guess it didn't work. Yeah, collision physics in this game. Oh. Actually, this works out. Yeah, collision physics in this game is definitely probably one of its uh, uh, worst bits. Luckily, like, it's not that big of a deal. But still. Uh, in retrospect, I have no idea which w Oh, hi. Ooh! Ooh! Oil grenade! I guess the, uh, the return of Commander, uh, Commander Burnham... ...might be sooner than we think. It's not gonna be this run, but, like, an oil grenade, fire grenade run would be gr Oh... But I could do oil grenade plus... Hmm... Well, this is some kind of fresh hell. No item? Just bats. I was kind of hoping it would just be like half a billion bats. And then, eh, whatever. Bap. I forgot he was still there.
Okay. Yeah, doing fine. Oh. Is it just me or is that gotten like a range boost or something? I have no idea. God, I, I... Some of these new items are just really fun. They might not even be that good. They're just fun. Okay. So let's see if I was right on the money. I was right on the money. We get phaser. Poisonous cloud around you. I, it's not really that useful. Hmm. Is that everything? Yeah, it looks like it's everything. Okay. I was right on the money. I knew where the uh I knew where the exit was. I always hate going into the uh the exit door first, and I'm just like, ah, oh, come on. I'm gonna have to come back here. Alright. Boop. I like this just like lone dude. Spartan sandals. I mean, they'd be an interesting weapon. I'm just not sure if I'd have a use for them over, like, literally any of the other things that I got here. What do you use gold for? Almost nothing. Gold is, uh, gold is kind of tangentially useful. You buy the occasional thing, but for the most part, it's, I, I guess really it is there to buy the occasional thing. It's not like other games where money is like kind of a live or die situation. Oh. Does damage and covers the nearby ground in oil. Holy crap, that's a lot of burning. Alright, we'll go with it. Yeah, unfortunately, going back to the D&D thing on iTunes, it's hard to get a podcast on iTunes. Like, it's not easy. I spent a very long time getting that set up. And it's still not there yet. Now, I can, I can chain oil grenades. Okay, we're, ke we're keeping this. If we could get the torch or something, we'd be in a good spot. Yeah, the main problem is they fly at slightly different arcs. Actually. It looks like it's not working right. Shoot. Let's see, are cursed chests worth it? Uh, in my general opinion, nah. Cursed chests are kind of neat, but... The risks just outweigh. Oh, did I forget to reflask? Oh yeah, I did forget to reflask. I forget frequently enough. It's not great. Honestly, I'd rather do oil grenade and fire grenade together, I think. Corrupted power. Might the ground around me. Nah. Yeah, the main issue is, uh... The main issue is the, uh, the torches that I can shuck don't actually, um... They don't fly the same way. So, like, this works, it just doesn't work very well. Also doesn't do as much damage. I think it's because the burning the burning damage might actually be uh, associated with my melee. Ow. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't go up here. Well, I can. Hi. Yeah, the bleed damage is much higher. I wonder if it's also... Oh, yeah, we're only doing... It's saying six plus, plus repeatedly. Oh, burn them before the grenade. That's a good point. 
burn when they die. Nope. Okay. Nope. Same damage. That's depressing. Why is it only doing six damage? I mean, I'll live. But, like, why even bother if it's only going to do six damage? Like, Death Orb does a hundred. Flat. Yeah, I I wonder if they don't, um, if it's not bugged and the oil grenade is, um... Is that armor? Oh, vampirism. Well, that's new. Um. Yeah, I wonder if it's because it's not scaling damage properly. I could absolutely see that being a possibility. Okay, I need to kill you. I really wish you could, like, swing your sword upwards and stuff like that. Well, no dice. I mean, you kind of can, but, like, it's not a... It's not a done deal situation. Okay. Yeah, it's such a shame. Well, it's okay. We didn't give up uh, any of other, our other skills, and we still have the balance sword. So we're good to go. And we get more health. Hey! I want vampirism to be a weapon with a really shitty animation. Asking you shall probably succeed. But yeah, it's probably a buff skill. Holy crap! Holy health bar! I was about to be like, please give me another health up just, just for the sake of hilarity. Holy crap! I don't think I've ever had this much health in this game. Gotta give, uh, Balance Sword credit. It wrecks bats. Like, real hard. Boop. Yeah, that is pitiful. Woo. That was weird. I was, like, floating on him. Okay. That's a lot of bats. Holy crap. Boop. Let's see. I was not expecting my health to just so wildly outstrip my uh, my skills, but that's okay. All right, so we get firebrands, but better firebrands. All right, sure, why not? I'm not really keen on using them, but considering it comes with the strength bonus and the higher level, and that's what I already have. I was just gonna... Okay. Anything else? Nope, doesn't look like it. Have I skipped any of the other doors? It seems like a it seems like a very very likely possibility. Yeah, look at that bleed damage in comparison to the the burn. Even with a strength of 6, it's only doing 6 damage per. Not worth it. Needs a needs a patch. Well, at least we know. And hopefully we find a replacement soon. Okay, have I have I been into every one of these? I'm gonna go double check just in case. Hopefully. Burn can stack quickly though. Oh yeah. Here's a good example of something that I could at least get some damage out of. Oh yeah, it does bonus damage on a bleeding target. Sure. the firebrand without the oil did more damage. I'm fairly certain that's correct. Did I get the other one too? I'm just gonna make sure. Yeah, we do also have corrupted power. I... Yeah, actually corrupted power seems like might not be a... Yep, okay, we've already done this one. I remember that. Yeah, let's go corrupted power. Uh, worst, com worst comes to worst, I can do um, 
I can kamikaze run um, corrupted power into a uh, knife storm. Okay, well, let's go back over here. We'll boost my damage and the knife storm people. And that'll just be the way of things. Boop. Really wish these guys wouldn't hide underground. That's annoying. I love Meat Grinder too, but Meat Grinder is, uh, it's too situational. And it really doesn't work with, um... Oh yeah, that's some damage. I like Meat Grinder too. The main issue with Meat Grinder is, uh, it's too small. Same thing with, uh, Bear Trap. It's too hard to hit enemies with it. Most other ground targets have, like, huge, huge range... ranges. Um, but since, like, the real challenge that I'm coming up here flies, it's kind of like, well, son of a... Well, that works. Oh, shit, do I have the one that... Oh, no, 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 no. It makes my, uh... My opponents burn. Okay. Yeah, it's not the same. Not the same as it used to be. But we're in a good spot. I think I still will get a, a second knife storm over the damage booster. If I can afford it. Okay. Wow, we do damage. Oh. And I knife stormed me up a secret. Hello, zombie. Yeah. Well, I guess I wouldn't have been able to see that one, period. But it would have been nice to be able to... Let's see, do we even bother with the secret? Probably not. Do we bother with the spike shield? Sure, actually. Uh, spike shield will make, uh, make the boss much easier. I'll take a look. I can't imagine I'm going to be able to be... Uh, let's come back to it in a bit. We've got a portal portal nearby. Who knows? Maybe we'll get something that'll make a huge difference here. Or we'll just get a kebab. Ah! That was scary business. Oh, there's a zombie in there. I was wondering about that. Okay. Uh, bone... bone inf no, bone infinite arrows doesn't really work here. But yeah, shield should keep the edge off of uh, jerk, jerkwad McGillicuddy. Also, nice part about uh, the damage booster now, it doesn't have a cast animation, it's instant. Ow. So if you, uh, if you cast it, you don't have to watch like a drawn out animation process using it. Yep. Thank God for, uh, for iframes. The one thing I would say is I, I wish Corrupted Power did actually, um, scale with, uh, I, I do wish Corrupted Power did scale with your, uh, skills. Like, imagine if for every, uh, skill point you got, let's say 10% of Corrupted Power and half that of, um, half that of, uh, of the other, uh, the, the drawback to. I guess that would make it potentially incredibly dangerous. Eh, probably worth it. I just like it when things scale with, uh, with stats, but I guess they do. You know, in retrospect, no, that would be really broken. It does scale with stats. Yep. Because it's a percent ba bonus on top of my pre-existing things. Actually, yeah, yeah, this makes way more sense. Because you could, on a uh, low skill run, which I guess don't exist currently, you could get a uh, you could get corrupted power and it would work just about the same. But on a high skill run, yeah, it just scales based off your main attack. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't scale with anything. It scales with everything. If that makes any sense. Would be way more broken if it scaled with with actual stats, but yeah, that would be that'd be dumb. 
now that I'm thinking about it. I'll give them props. They managed to fix it without uh, making it bad. Gives me a lot of hope for this game. Okay, so we finally found the entrance to the uh, insufferable crypt. Yeah, it's got a teleporter on the other side of the traps. Yeah. Uh, wow, yeah, even the even the po poison damage from um, the damage booster does a fair amount to these guys. Keep kicking me in the face, though. I try and, like, roll in front of them, and it just doesn't take. He's very committed about that. Didn't work out great for him. Yeah, the giblets exploding is a neat effect, too. I like that. I didn't even, like, recognize it doing much of a thing at first. But it does. Oh, boy, it does. Okay, so we get... I thought I saw a stat point over here and I got excited. Ow. Okay, cool. We got the... We got the actually dangerous guy. Everybody else is just... Uh, frosting. Okay. Let's see. Having trouble with the second ability boss in the old sewers. Tips. Uh... Jeez. God, I think I killed him by accident. Uh, get Death Orb. <laughs> is that good advice? It's probably terrible advice, but, like, Death Orb is, like, the... Is the killer of all. It does not give any shits. Okay, uh... So let's go back up here. Get Death Orb, how? Just keep looking for it. Uh, Death Orb does show up. Alright, so we haven't gotten anything amazing, but we should be fine. Let's just hope it's not all traps. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go quick. Unfortunately, these guys have, like, half a billion HP. Ah! That's okay. Oh. Death Orb drops from enemies you can't fight after that boss. Eee. Uh, I... Honestly, I don't even remember what, uh, what skills you get by that certain point in the game. The problem is, um, they didn't add that rune until after I had death rune. Or death death orb. So, like, it's actually kind of impossible for me. Okay. Oh. Okay, vampirism. You recover 12 HP per melee hit that you deal for 6 seconds. You also take 75% extra damage during this period. That doesn't really seem very good. Okay, so currently it would be 17. Yeah, that's garbage. Well, yeah, I have no useful advice. Honestly, my advice is best kept for endgame, because that's, that's what I know. Okay. So is he going to charge me, or is he going to shoot? Defense breached. So my, my damage isn't good enough. Well, that sucks. Well, at least we, uh... At least we've got everything else going for us. I do a whole bunch of damage and bleed. I guess that means I can just spend my entire time just avoiding hits and just bleeding them. Oh, they don't take damage. Oh, but it doesn't it doesn't run the clock. Animus completely. That's going to make this a bit of a hard fight. Yeah, we've got crazy crazy town HP. 
But I don't have Crazy Town uh, useful abilities here. Well, we'll figure it out. Okay. I guess I'll just get out of the way. Boop. And use that. Okay. Is he... He's probably going to charge me next. Okay, ow, what? Oh, huh. Okay. Yeah, so we got this shield, but I don't think the shield really helps me here. At least if I hang out in the, um, schmutz, we're okay. Where'd the freezing effects come from? I have no idea. What if I can block that? Okay. Yeah, I gotta watch out for the ro uh, the the speeding dude. Okay. Current speeding one is not the issue. The only issue is getting it to die. Okay. We're fine. This is just gonna be uh, a bit of a a slow burn boss fight. Uh, missed. Well, it's okay. Okay, so he's just gonna do the speed shot. Okay, he's doing this. Sometimes I can avoid every hit. At least we get... There we go. I don't know if using the damage booster is really worth it there. Probably is. Defense breached on that, really. Now that's annoying. That's also annoying. Well, that's a good time for a heal. First heal. Ah, of course, I'm now taking bunches of damage. I think this should be the last tentacle section. We're hitting him with a lot of status effects, but it does go away. That's really frustrating the, that they don't take damage while they're underground. Or maybe they do. Maybe you just don't see the health bar. Okay, so fun fact, if they're if they're uh, sliding along the ground, you can block them. I wonder, to some degree, how much it would be worth just going berserk. And just fighting them. Uh, not even, not even really blocking. Ow. Okay, because I do a decent amount of damage. Yep, defense breach, so you, you can um, you can block them. I was wondering about that. Thank you, iframes, for making my life easier. Alright, we're going... Yep, we got him. Oh, yeah. I could also stop getting that extra life amulet if I wanted to. That would that would make sense. Alright, yeah. Yeah, kill him without taking a hit. That'd be rough. Oh well. Uh, let's see. How high do items go in this game? As far as I can tell, um you can get up to at least tier nine items. I don't think I've gotten above that. I don't think so. Yeah, someday I'll I'll do a uh, no damage kill on the watcher. Someday. <laughs>